Hello guys welcome to my humble YouTube channel where I bring you fanfiction that will brighten your days. Before we start a subscribe is greatly appreciated and don't forget to leave a like and ring the bell icon so you won't miss exciting new fanfiction stories. Spatial thank to Diamond Wolf the author of this story. Chapter 10. The Battle Velzard Pav, well I was planning on it anyway. That makes things easier then, I will take a seat here then. Sure there are potato chips here if you want some. Thank you, no problem. Anyway back to the meeting, anyone have anything to add on? Lady Rimaru if I may, Benamaru, go on, I would like to personally challenge the Orc Lord. Are you sure? Yes, okay. If anyone sees the Orc Lord send a thought communication to Benamaru and send him the coordinates. Right. Sue before you leave can you go meet the Lizardmen Chieftain and tell him to expect us in three days and also to keep his guard up. As you wish, meeting dismissed we will leave tomorrow. Right. Lizardmen Chieftain Pav, Chief we have an invader he demands to speak with you. Let him in, but, let him in, you feel this or no? As you wish. A dark blue-haired figure slowly walks KN with a dominating aura which if directed at a lizardman could easily suffocate one of them. I apologize for not having any accommodations available we're in a tight situation right now. No need I am merely an envoy conveying the words of my master. An envoy? With this strong of an aura? Your master must be strong then. You are wise, indeed my master is of a higher rank, for the message my master gave me. We will arrive here in three days and help with the invasion and also to keep your guard up. Keep our guard up. Yes my master suspects a coup will most likely happen so he has decided Aro come in three days, two days before he suspects it to happen. A coup? Who would? And also he will help us. He has no merits in helping. My master decided to help you since if it crushes your village it is possible it will come and attempt to take ours so it is best to snuff the flame while it's small, as my master said. I see that is indeed wise of them, expect us in three days and keep your guard up, I will take my leave now. Before you go what is your master's name? Her name is Rimuru. As he says that he fades and the magicules dispersed. That was only a clone, his master must be of incredible strength. The chief then collapses into the throne, I feel as though I have seen a ray of hope. Chieftain. When is Gabal expected back? In four days. Four days. Isn't that one day after Lady Rimuru is expected? And a day after that? No it couldn't be. Is my son truly that foolish? Velzard Pav. One day later, Lady Rimuru were all ready. Good we will head out now on the glacial wolves, also you don't have to sprint a fast jogging pace will do after all you guys are plenty fast enough to reach their village in less than three hours. As you wish. Let's go then. The glacial wolves move at a fast jogging pace however no faster than necessary while Ranga and Raiga the fastest two wolves do a long guard attacking any. A monsters around with ease and opening a safe path for the rest of the way sometimes resting however one day later they finally arrive at the swamp and can see a few orcs littered around however not too many mostly scouting orcs. We will dismount here and walk the rest, the wolves can go into the shadows and wait for the battle to begin. Right. They then walk totally the entrance where the chief is waiting and brings him into a room with a throne on top of it and he sits down on the throne and begins to talk. I suppose you're Lady Rimuru. Indeed my name is Rimuru, I have come to help with the invasion of the orcs and also to deal with the orc lord. The orc lord? So it is true then? Yes the dryads personally requested that I deal with it. The dryads? I thought they hadn't been seen in hundreds of years. I suppose the threat of the orc lord is quite real if the dryads themselves request for me to deal with it. Hum. Are there any more conditions you wish to add on to this proposal? Not as of this moment however I may have some later on. I see, then I have no choice than to accept as we lack the manpower to deal with an orc lord. Right then, we will rest up for two days then we will get ready and deal with the orcs, my subordinates can deal with the scouting orcs, let your soldiers rest for a while. Can your subordinates deal with the orcs? You underestimate them, each one of them could easily dispatch the orcs with minimal difficulties. After feeling the aura from the KNEU call Sue I would not doubt it however I feel nothing from you. That is because I can control my aura perfectly. Perfectly you say? Yes, now then I will let my soldiers rest up for a while and then we will march on them before they reach here. As you wish, the guest rooms are this way, we only have enough room for 10 as of now. That is no problem, two days later, 
Today is the day the coup is attempted, though I'm surprised Gabble hasn't noticed us here at all. Master there is a ruckus in the throne room, ah that's probably it, Sue you can deal with it just don't kill anyone and also show him the aura of the orc lord. As you wish, in the throne room, my son. You underestimate the royal guards, luckily I had a warning you may attempt this but to think it would truly happen. Father you have grown old. I will take the place as chieftain and make the lizardmen tribe stand proud against all races. Your foolish lizardmen have boundaries which cannot be broken out of, you stand no chance against the orc lord. Suddenly some light tapping is heard from the entrance and a dark blue-haired Kijan walks in and string comes from all walls and trap all the people attempting the coup then he pulls out a spherical object which inside can be seen a large menacing orc looking down with an aura dominating over all of the lizardmen however compared to that of Sue's the aura looks as though it is a rabbit and fox with a clear difference in power. T this. This aura is beyond my limits, how did you manage to get so strong? I was given this gift from my master and with hard work I have honed it even further. A gift? Your master can give such power in form of gifts. She is strong enough to be able to put me on the floor with her mere aura and put the strongest of the Kijans on one knee. Her aura is that strong. You felt it no? I, I passed out suddenly and didn't know what happened. Well that happened because my master released her aura. So that woman. She isn't a human. No. She has never told us what she is but she said she is OT a human and we're fine with that, now if you will excuse me I need to prepare for the fight. Sue then releases all the string and everyone involved in the coup is thrown into cells or exiled while everyone on Belzard's side get their weapons ready and head to the front. Everyone ready? Of course, we have waited long for this. Let's do this. Well then you can all go rampage bit don't kill too many try leave at least 100.000 orcs. Right. Of you go then, the first thing that happens is Benamaru shooting large scale hell flares completely, obliterating all the orcs within the one half mile radius of the explosion, which happens repeatedly while Sheehan, with her weapon forged by Kaijin, she slams into the ground, causing a large earthquake splitting a line through all the orcs, and at the same time, Hakuro is running and slicing all the orcs he sees, and with the speed he moves at causing any near him to be burnt along with being cut and Sue moves in the shadows, killing a few every now and then however is looking for the orc lord to signal to Benamaru and after a few minutes finds it and sends a thought communication to Benamaru who instantly stops and runs right through, over to it killing some orcs with the pure speed he moves it with the shockwave and once he arrives he senses a demon charging down onto the battlefield right where Benamaru is standing so he moves to the side and a demon wearing a witch doctor mask with blue eyes white coat and hat with a black cane and shouts at all of them for ruining the plan of the great Gelmid, so Benamaru cuts his arm off with black flame making it so that he can't regenerate while the demon is screaming in pain the orc lord in front of him moves and cuts Gelmud's head off and starts eating him. After he finishes eating him his aura starts flaring and a notification from the words of the world said he evolved into demon lord seed orc disaster. While this catches them off guard they quickly regain composure and Benamaru reactive his blackface on his sword as he knows a simple hell flare won't work on him so he instead moves that cannot be seen by the eye cuts off both his arms and legs leaving only his head left. While the orc lord doesn't scream in pain he it seems. Nothing more than irritated however JTS face quickly becomes surprised when it realized it cannot regenerate. While the black flame is active however he has no way of ripping of the part which is ignited instead he is left with only being it to use chaos eater and starts attacking Benamaru with it however he easily cuts through them and then decides to cut of his head quickly ending the orc disaster and removing the effects he had on the other orcs making them drop their weapons and also submit with only a loss of 40.000 and all captains still alive. Well done Benamaru. Thank you Lady Rimuru, no worries, you did great, of course you too as well Sheehan and Hakuro. Ho ho it was no problem Lady Rimuru, also Lady Rimuru I have a request. Oh? A request? Yes I would like to stay by your side as a subordinate? I will gladly accept, I was hoping you would say that. With your insight I'm sure you already knew what would happen. No no not at all, well we should head back as we now need to deal with the orcs and the lizardmen. Indeed. Let's go and get that out the way, as you wish. Chapter 11. More trouble Eris is talking, Velzard Pav. As everyone has settled now I will begin, 
First thing I would like to say is I have no intentions of putting the orcs under any charges of any kind, as they were under the effects of a famine I believe anyone under the same conditions would do the same as they had done, I suppose no one objects to this? No have no objections, eh are you sure? As I said I have no problems with it, my plan is to create a nation in which the lizardmen provide water, the goblins provide shelter, the orcs provide manpower, and the ogres provide military. And you're saying we can be a part of this? Of course, although I won't tolerate slackers. We wouldn't dare to even think K about that. The orc leader says as all orcs present get on their knees. Great, then what about the lizardmen tribe? We have no objections if all we have to do is share our water, and in return we gain the ogre's protection. Great, since I already have the ogres or I guess now Kijans under my rule all we have to, to think about is food. I think we may be able to help with that, oh trainee you're saying the dryads wish to participate in this alliance? Indeed, after seeing how strong Lord Benamaru is I can only imagine how strong you must be to make him take a knee with only your aura and so the dryads would gain much in being under your reign. Under my reign? The dryads will not take over as leader? Of course not, well I suppose that's that then, anything else to add? Lady Rimuru I wish to ask of something, oh the lizard man chieftain? Yes. I would like to send my two children over to your town. Your children? Gabiru and the leader of the guard? Indeed, if that would be okay with you, that is fine, you can send them to me any day you wish. I thank you, the lizardmen all join the orcs and get on one knee and bow then everyone else does the same leaving only Velzard standing. Great, we will head back with the orcs to my town and begin to put them straight to work after all we will need some new houses for them. After sorting out the orcs some leaving to make their own villages and some going with Velzard, the ones who go with Velzard get named including the orc generals and the child of the orc lord who once was named evolved into an orc lord again however was of a mid caliber while the other orcs who now number 60.000 after some leave evolve into high orcs with the orc generals evolving into lower orc lords. Totaling 5 orc lords, 60.000 high orcs, 300 ogres 20 kijans, 1.200 lizardmen 50 evolved lizardmen, 200 glacial wolves. 1 primordial demon, 1 human, 2 true dragons, in Velzard's army of monsters, demon, human. Ok orcs this will soon be your new home, first you need to build it so we will begin tomorrow so you can rest up after that long walk so you can sleep anywhere. Right. Lady Rimuru. Oh Shizu, why are there so many orcs here? Oh we killed the orc lord so I took them in, now we have 5 orc lords. 5. You really are crazy strong, well one single orc lord isn't that strong so I decided to get 5 and we might get more if I want to. A. N. You may say that Rimuru isn't that blind to strength in the cardinal world however you have to remember he spent 20.000 years of his life as an overpowered ice dragon against 49 years as a slime though quite a strong one he did have to fight his way to that strength so as Rimuru he knew the power scaling but as Velzard it has been 20.000 years since he last had any sort of challenge which, spoiler alert, will change soon. Sigh. Only you could say a single orc lord isn't enough. Well I think we were being spied on while Benamaru was fight the orc lord, it was similar to when Diablo was spying on me however it was someone I know so I left it. Someone was spying on you? Oh yes, it was some demon lords. Hum. Maybe the demon lords wanted to make the orc lord evolve into a demon lord and use it as a puppet demon lord. You're smart, yes that is most likely what they wanted to do. But isn't that dangerous, demon lords are not something that can be taken lightly. I know from my experience with one. Oh well the ones that were spying on us only one of them were a true demon lord while the others were unevolved. Unevolved or not they still hold the title of demon lord which not everyone has the ability to, though you could most likely become a demon lord and have no resistance against it. Maybe, though I plan on having friendly relationships with humans so having the title of demon lord would make that very hard. Oh suppose that is true. Oh well, we will figure that out later I'm going to go to bed for now. Ok good night Lady Rimuru, one month later over this past month progression quickly picked up and we're already a small city the orcs have completed two quarters of the planned size and I just picked up some Peggy C flying around Tempest about to land so I teleport over. Ah Lady Rimuru it is good to see you again, King Gazel, I didn't expect you here today. Well I couldn't come formally as that would take forever to arrive over all the bumpy terrain. Yes I suppose that wouldn't exactly be a pleasant experience, 
Anyway this is not the place for talking so I assume you came for a different reason? You're quick to catch on. Indeed I am here to ascertain your true nature through swords. If you're sure, both Gazel and Velzard draw their swords and get into a fighting stance. Gazel is the first time move hitting with a swing from the left of Velzard who quickly blocks it and moves the sword up Gazel's sword bringing it towards the hilt and Gazel catches on so he moves backwards and uses a skill and moves too fast for the naked eye however for Velzard this is the same as a slug's movement so she easily blocks all three attacks and also hits a counter sending him backwards 4 meters however she didn't use any strength and Gazel could feel that she didn't either. Hum. I surrender you're not an evil monster I can tell. That's good. Well let's go have a chat now then? Yes, lead the way, at the meeting spot, so then I'm guessing there is another reason for you coming and visiting us? You're very sharp, you I have come to see if we can establish a relationship with your country. So then you acknowledge this as a nation of monsters? Indeed, so you're awnser, well there will only be profits from this so I accept, though we don't have a name for this nation. Hum, that is a problem. How about the country of Tempest and this capital of Rimuru? Oi oi Xi'an, that is great. Wait hold on, alright then, this nation will be called Tempest with the capital of Rimuru. Sigh. Fine then, great I am excited for the future. I will have to leave now as I'm sure some people are beginning to suspect my disappearance. Great have a nice flight back King Gazel, you to Lady Rimuru. Both then shake hands confirming the establishment of the nation of Tempest. And then Gazel back for Dwargon and Rimuru goes back into her house to relax. Three days later, Rimuru. King Gazel I didn't expect you here today. Well I have come with a present, oh? Here it is. Gazel throws down a long roll of soft carpets and when it unravels the former minister Vesta is seen passed out inside of it. A Vesta? Are you sure he is quite valuable? I am very sure, take it as a gift from our nation. I will definitely take him in then if that's the case, he will be able to produce 99% full potions. You think he is able to? leave him to his devices for a few days and I'm sure it will be fine. I have no doubts in his abilities he is the finest researcher Dwargon has ever had so I expect great things Vesta. Huh. Ah. Lady Rimuru. Vesta, good to see you again, our first meeting was not so pleasant. I am deeply sorry I hope you forgive me, ah don't worry about it. Let's get you straight to work we already have a research station set up in a cave where Veldora made his home in the past so it is full of Hippocoot herbs for you. All right. I'll go straight to work, three months later. Hum. This aura, is this Milam? Indeed master. Milam decided to visit you since she took part in the Orc Lord project so she has an excuse to visit. Oh that's great. I can see Milam again. Velzard the teleports to where Milam landed a few seconds later with a big crash making a 4 meters wide crater. Milam, uh. Auntie Velzard your aura is seeping out. Who said you could ruin this hill? It was one of the best viewing spots. Sorry. Lady Rimuru get back. Hum, Sheehan, Benamaru, Hakuro, and Ranga all charge towards Velzard and Ranga grabs her and puts her on his back and starts running off while Sheehan and Benamaru attack Milam with Hakuro acting as a reserve. Ranga put me down, I'm sorry Lady Rimuru I cannot do that as of now. Sigh. Velzard then puts her legs around Ranga's head choking him causing him to stop running and Velzard gets off and walks back to Milam and just chops her on the head causing her to whine in pain. Ada. Auntie. Sheehan. Hakuro. Ranga and Benamaru all just stand there confused. Who said you could ruin my beautiful land? Ah. Sorry. I will have to educate you later in not landing so roughly. Crying. Sorry. HMPH. Next time don't do it. Lady Rimuru. What is your relationship with Demon Lord Milam? Oh. Um. I'll explain back in town gather all the executives. As you wish, back inside the meeting room, the executives Veldora, Shizu and Milam are present. Okay so all of you are probably wondering what my relationship with Milam is and why she calls me Andy. Well it's exactly as it seems, I am the white ice dragon Velzard and, Iwamoto, is Veldora. All of them are stunned while Diablo was shook for a second but quickly regained composure and silently chuckled while Shizu and Veldora just keep doing what they're. Wait Lady Shizu you're not at all stunned, does that mean you already knew? Yes well Lady Velzard decided to have Lord Veldora train me so I already knew. That is incredible, to be personally trained by a true dragon, and the rumored strongest one. Kuhahahaha me the strongest? 
I can only wish. Sister could easily beat 300 me's with no difficulty. Wah, well I guess I could but I would never want to hurt you would I? Well that's a lie I would hurt you any day with a smile. Sister can be scary sometimes, hum. Eck, that's what I thought. This changes a lot of things and also answers a lot of things. What should we call you Lady Rimuru? Lady Velzard. Anything in private but Rimuru always in public. As you wish Lady Velzard, Auntie come on I wanna play. Okay okay I'll play, Benamaru Pav after the shock from learning Lady Rimuru is really Lady Velzard I went back to training with Lady Shizu and Diablo. That was quite a shocker. Yeah when I first learned about it I fainted apparently. Kufufufu it is only expected of Lady Velzard after all her aura not even fully released put a lot of strain on my body. Yeah that's something I noticed, what rank of demon are you? Kufufu that will be up to you to find out, hum well you would jabe to be at least arch demon since I am stronger than them and I took a knee however you didn't fall so I wouldn't be too surprised if you were the primordial noir. Kufufu, two months later, Velzard Pav, hum? An explosion in the streets? Lady Velzard. Oh Shizu what's wrong? Lord Rigard punched one of a demon lord's subordinate. Sigh. I am coming, at the explosion, Lady Rimuru. Ouch Rigard are you okay? Rigard can be seen with a massive wound on half of his face leaving large parts of the insides bare for everyone to see with a fainted body of a beastman behind him. Oh who is this? He said he wanted to make this city part of Demon Lord Carrion Domain when I refused he punched me so I decided to fight back, hum, good job. It's a shame that part of the road got damaged but this will be a quick one hour fix by the orcs, oh yeah I also need to deal with this guy, bring him into the meeting room once he's awoken, of course.